Hello there. Managing access to WordPress files is a tricky subject. However, we offer all the necessary set of tools to make it happen. So in this multi-part video, I will show you how to set up everything correctly and how to configure your access controls. So buckle up, let's go. Part one, installation. First, let's make sure that we have Advanced Access Manager and AAM Protected Media Files plugins installed. Both are free plugins and you can download them from the official WordPress.org repository. When you're done with this, the next step is to configure your web server to redirect direct access to your files to AAM Access Control Handler. In this video, I will show how to do that with Apache server, but if you have Nginx or IIS or any other web server, you doing very similar steps. If you're not familiar with uh, redirects in general, you can always consult with your hosting provider and they're gonna be more than happy to assist you with that. So I'm gonna go to my server and open HG Access with the editor of my preference. I use a Visual Studio Code and I will go to amportal.com to protected media files section and under installations there are snippets of a code that you can just copy and paste and put it in HG Access file. You save the file. So this snippet of a code, what it does, when any user requests file that is within this folder, it will redirect that request to AM Access Control Handler. That's basically it. Uh, now all your files are served through AM Access Control Handler. The final step is optional, but it's good to verify that everything is working as expected. To do that, I will first enable the WordPress debug mode. In the installation instructions, I outline how to do that, so you can follow the guidance in, in this uh, uh, tutorial. Uh, on my demo site I already have debug mode enabled so I will go to media library, copy URL to any document that I have, open a new tab, open the developer tool and insert the URL. In the response headers if there is X served by AM protected media files, this indicates that everything is set up as expected, redirect rules are working well, and you're good to go.